Well, Predator season is fast upon us here in the UK and I'm starting to get prepared for my drop shot fishing and ultralight perch fishing, things like that. Now, I was online recently, I was trying to find um, a lure bag, a new lure bag um, that went around the front because I've got my backpack which I keep my camera gear in but I needed easy access lure bag around the front. And I did have a waist one before but there was too much weight in it and it kept falling down so I needed something that came over my shoulder. Most of the lure bags I looked at were like £50 plus, really, really expensive for what it was. At the end of the day, it's just a storage device for your tackle. So I went online and I found one, I think it was about 12, 30, 12 to £15 pounds or something like that, and it does everything that I need it to do. I'll pop a link in the description to it, um, if, just in case you guys want to see it. But this is the bag itself. Uh, I don't even know what it's called really, but it's a sort of shoulder bag, and it sits on the front like this. Um, and it's just a real easy access bag. On the top, there's plenty of compartments in it. On the top, uh, it's got the main compartment, which actually has lots of smaller compartments in it as well. Velcro ones and zip mesh ones as well. Um, there's also a number of other compartments. A smaller one here, but it's slightly more waterproof. And obviously your front compartment just here. All quite small, but definitely enough to put lure boxes in. And a front mesh compartment here at the front, just there. And then on the side here, it's actually got a loop here where you can put uh, forceps or pliers, I've got a separate one, but a small pocket here which you can either put your mobile phone in or I just store my fluorocarbon leader in there, and wire traces. Uh, and I've attached, this is separate, these pliers, these are also found online, pop a link in the description for them. Uh, I like them because they've got the TAF blue on them, but also uh, these again were not retailed very expensive, but they do the job and I've attached them to my lure bag and uh, they have like split a split ring tool here at the front of the tip they've got crimping areas here where you can put crimps on and they've also got a line cutting tool uh, just at the bottom of the scissors just there and actually they feel quite heavy duty they've got finger quite ergonomic grip there and they feel really good quality i've got them on a lanyard which it came with uh, with a blue carabiner there and that just helps for if you're rock fishing or just general fishing and you drop your pliers you can drop them and they're attached to the lanyard, which is attached to you, attached to the bag. So really, really handy thing to have, especially if you've got deep hook fish and things like that. Um, just a dead handy tool to have. And they, that just sits to the side like that. So that's kind of custom bit that I put on um, just to make life a little bit easier. So I'll just show you some of those. I've basically downsized um, my lure boxes because I was walking around with these big, great lure boxes packed full of soft plastic lures, over half of which I never really used. So I thought, Let's downsize everything, use my backpack for my camera equipment and use this for my lures and that way it's just much easier to access it. So I'll just show you what I've got in my lure boxes. So inside that lure, bo uh, lure bag I have, well, one, two, three, four, five small lure boxes uh, and my fluorocarbon. I also put forceps and a small unhooking mat and things I can attach to it as well uh, and a net, but obviously I'm not going to show those here. So we'll start with this clear box here. I'll just run you through. This is my creature bait box and I've got loads of different creature baits of varying different colors and sizes. Um, and actually they have different actions as well. I just put a few of them on my hand so you can see. These ones here, this uh, orange and yellow one, these are glow in the dark, they're like UV ones. And this one has a slight paddle tail on it. But you can fish these Texas style um, or just on a straight jig head or even just on their own. This one is my soft plastic shads, uh, the sort of paddle tails. And I've got a range of colors. I'll just put a few out here for you. I've got my bright colours for when it's dark, murky conditions and the waters, the rivers are quite flooded. Um, and then I've got my darker kind of natural colours for when it's clear. And I've got my sort of bright fluoro type colours as well. Um, but different sizes again, so slightly different actions, but this is my soft plastic shad box. Uh, and then these one, this one is kind of a drop shot specific one. And in this I have my basically my top drop shot lures. So I've got my favorite fish action attractor shad, uh, sort of three inch attractor shad, attractor shad there. And then I've got my sort of natural looking way ones, which are like minnows, uh, again here, natural looking ones. Then I've got my ultra small ones, um, really, really small. Some of these are only like two inches, if that, an inch and a half. And then I've actually got a few more shads in here as well, just in the end, which is a mixture of different brands and makes and things like that. Okay, this one is a really, really small one, but actually it's got all the leads that I need in it. So it's got jig heads, and I've got my multicolored jig heads over here uh, with kind of fish eyes on them as well. Then I've got my bigger jig heads, large ones, 
um, kind of tw 10, 12 gram ones with 3 o hooks. That's for kind of deep rivers and reservoirs and fast flowing water. Then I've got my ultra small jig heads in this one here. And these are these range from sort of half a gram to about three grams with small hooks. That's probably the majority of the perch fishing I would do on those. Then I've got my bullet weights here, which I'll use with this sort of Texas rigging. And I have used the Carolina rig a few times with wrasse fishing and these are quite effective. And then over here I've got my drop shot weights, classic drop shot weights, which range from about four grams up to 20 grams, depending on the speed of the water and the depth of the water that I'm fishing. And then finally in this last one, uh, it's a bit of a mixture of things, but I've got uh, my Texas rig hooks over here. I've got my drop shot hooks in that one there. Snap swivels and swivels in this one. Then I've got another mixture of swivels and um, spinners, small little like met spinners and things like that. And then I've got these mini crankbaits over here, uh, which again are for perch fishing. So that's all the lure boxes that I have and the range of tackle that I have, but that's basically all I need is attached to my chest in that lure bag. So that's kind of my terminal tackle and the end gear that I'm using for perch this season. And onto the rod, I'm actually trying out a new perch specific, sort of drop shot specific rod. Um, and it's 1.8 meters and it's two to 12 grams. So it's kind of light, but not ultra, ultra light, powerful enough to get big perch and pike as well. And a nice sensitive tip for, you know, twitching that lure and getting good bite detection. And the, it's got a standard sort of real winch fitting here, screw winch fitting, and it's actually ultra, ultra small. You know, just the distance from here to there is really small, which I quite like for that finesse fishing and that ultra light fishing for perch. And we've also, I'll be trying another rod out, which I've been using quite a lot this summer, and Dad's been using it as well. It's been really effective. And that is the five piece rod from Nomura. We absolutely love this rod. It's really, really um, portable. It's compact, it's light, easy to take traveling with you. Um, and this, just so you guys know, has a casting weight of 10 to 30 grams, so it's, it's stronger than my drop shot rod. I could definitely do light tackle spinning with it. Um, and it's also six and a half foot for those that were wondering. But this is actually a really, really good quality rod um, for the price as well. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you quickly about is my fishing reels. Both reels, they're different size, but both reels um, are loaded with braid. This one is much lighter braid, about eight pounds. And this one over here is 12 pound braid. I use both these reels. This is about a 4,000 size reel, this one. And this one is about a thousand. So it's really, really for the ultralight finesse fishing. And this one's for slightly bigger stuff, perch and small pike as well. Well, that was just an insight into some of the tackle that I've been using lately and how I've adapted my tackle. Uh, obviously it's a minefield out there. You can do what you want with your own fishing tackle. Some of you guys have really, really good setups. I've seen it on Facebook. Uh, but that's just my way of doing it. What I've felt and I've learned over the years of doing it is go light, especially when we're taking camera equipment and filming equipment, it's much easier to go lighter. You don't need to take all those lures out with you. Just take the ones that catch fish um, and you'll have a much better time. You'll get less tired and you'll get more fishing time in. Yeah.